And you should have two rows, right? Uh, on the left hand side of all those menus, there's a mass airflow calibration tab or folder, folder. math, whatever. Math, M A F calibration. I'm about to get comfy up in here. I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the green row is the one you want to modify. So you're going to highlight the green row. All but the far left two cells. I'm highlighting the bottom row. It's highlighting Correct. The top two, it's high on top two, but just make sure you click on the bottom row. All right. If you look at the screen behind you. You start here, right? Yep. Then you hold down the shift key. Go all the way to the very end. Hold the, and then click it right and it highlights them all. That's that. Gosh darn it, what am I not doing? There it goes. So you highlight them all like this, right? All the way to the end? Yeah. And the bottom line, see how you have all the white? Okay, then press the M key as in mic. Okay. And you're going to go 1.15. Okay. And then hit OK. And that whole line should shift up. Right, yeah. Okay. And then go ahead and do file save. Call it 1.4 or whatever the next order is. And then load that on your access tuner race. Hey, Isaac, you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, cool. So, so I, next step for me is to re-log re the re four to six thousand, right? right? Yeah, you have, you have not had a chance to do that yet? No, yeah, I just got back to mine as well. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, no hurries. All right. So, yeah, all that's your, right. your next step. Go ahead and do that. And uh, what yeah, were you saying about weather? Saying about I, mean, weather? I mean, the roads might the road be a little wet, but it's not raining anymore. Not raining anymore. Yeah, it, it should be fine. The only problem that happens is, is if your mass airflow sensor gets wet, then okay. it can throw okay. all your readings off. So... We'll just keep an eye on it. If all of a sudden your fuel trims start getting real, real high, then that might indicate that your mass airflow sensor is wet, and then we'll just have to let it dry out. All right, sounds good. All right, sounds good. I'm in here, right? i got to add that 1.4. To, yeah, to your uh, Cobb access work. Yep. Hey, K9, yeah? Yeah. Yep, I see yours. I'm going to go ahead and pull them open right now. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Negative uh, 3.91 long-term fuel trim. Zero short-term fuel trim. Could you repeat that? Zero short-term fuel trim. Negative three long-term fuel trim. Engine RPM 4,500. Mass airflow 24.1. <laughs> and then you also need to write down uh, calculated load 25.1. I'm looking for your air fuel ratio. I can't seem to find it. Oh, here it is. All right. So you, this right here for you is in lambda. Remember we talked about lambda yesterday? So yeah. Right. You, it's real easy to, to, to do the modification. All you do is take this number here and multiply it by 14.7. So your average air fuel ratio is 14.18. You got all that written down? Yeah, I got that. I, I just didn't get the, um, the short film here. Is zero. That's zero, you say? Yeah, short term fuel trim is zero. Okay. And the long term fuel trim is negative, negative three. Negative 3.91, right? right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so for the 5,000, your short term is 1.35. Your long term is negative Your air fuel ratio is 14.1. Engine speed is 40 or 5,000. Your calculated load is 26.23. And your mass airflow is 2,800. <coughs> Is this one is already in open loop, so your fuel trims at this point don't matter. Okay.
So hang on a second. That's both the short term and the long term fuel trip you're speaking about. Right, they won't matter. But I'm wondering. Hey, can you show me on your screen where you select the items to be logged in the Mazda edit? 